Uduak Frank Apan has been sentenced to death by hanging for the killing of a job seeker in Ubong Umaren. Inubong was a graduate of philosophy, University of Uyu in Akwa Ibom State. She went for a job hunt in April 2021 while waiting for NYSC mobilization. In the process, the accused, Uduak led her to a fake job interview, but ended up raping and killing her. The three persons who were tried for the murder case were Uduak Abasi Apan, accused person, Frank Apan and Anwan Basi Apan. However, the court discharged and acquitted Frank Apan, the father of the accused, and Awan Basi Apan, his sister. Today, being Thursday, 4th of August, 2023, the judge found Uduak Frank Apan guilty of the murder and sentenced him to death by hanging. <laughs> No, hold on now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please, you like that. Are you ready? Are you ready? See, you are choosing to do the first of this person, who got from that one. Today, I have been sentenced. This has led to rest. Seven months of litigation. The reaction of the Honorable Anthony General, the number one law officer. Uh, go ahead. Well, I, I'd like to thank um, the learned judge for the way he has managed this trial has been conducted for a period of nine months. And um, it's a, it was a very complicated trial, but the judge was able to take time out, try the case on a day to day basis, and at the end of the day, we have a judgment that uh, shows that the justice system works. And we are very happy at the outcome of the case. So, what is the next step now for the next step? Well, for the first defendant, as you can see, it's led into custody. The second and third defendants have been uh, discharged and acquitted. And uh, we intend, on behalf of the state, to analyze that aspect of the judgment and take a decision uh, on the next step in, those, in that regard. Any grounds for appeal? Well, we can't say that now. But like I say, we will go and analyze the, uh, the, the judgment and see if there's any ground. We thank the judge for the industry and diligence he has shown, and he did a great job. And uh, so, but all the same, we'll analyze that aspect of it. The convicts just attempted to escape from the court. Well, I, I, I don't think it's uh, something to be surprised about. This young man um, committed some very grievous offenses and uh, very gruesome, gruesome offenses. And um, you, if you follow the facts of the case, you would not put it past him to do something drastic and do uh, something as, as, as bad as he attempted to do here. And I think the security officials were, were very, very uh, attentive, and that's why they were able to overcome him and put him up. But let, let, let me not stop without commending the Nigerian police force and the officers of uh, the DSS for the very diligent uh, prosecution and uh, uh, investigation that they carried out in this case. They did such great jobs. And uh, so many times we have these gentlemen vilified, sometimes by members of the public, particularly in the social media. You hear all kinds of stories about complicities among the investi investigators. But if you listen to that judgment, you would know that without the diligence of the police and the officers of the DSS, the evidence that we had on behalf of the state to prosecute and uh, bring about the conviction would not have been possible. 
I'd also like to thank the very diligent staff of the Ministry of Justice, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, the Solicitor General, they did a fantastic job. And uh, you would not realize this. But for those of us who were involved, we know what those gentlemen and ladies put up. So I'd like to commend them. And what of the court? This matter can only eight months in court. And the backdrop of so many Well, you see, the, the administration of criminal justice uh, these days is run in a manner that not only do, at the end of the day do we see that justice is done, we also will see that it's done in a timely fashion because it is said that justice delayed is justice denied. And so his logic really worked tirelessly over the period. It doesn't happen that often. And we are hoping that this is a, a, a move towards having this as a template for criminal prosecution. The trial started on the 4th of November and ended on the 4th of uh, judgment came on the 4th of August. It's simply brilliant and we thank the court for that. So, 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 because like you have pointed out, in Yubon has not been brought back to life. All in Yubon wanted was a job, and she ended losing her life because of the criminals that uh, uh, parade this country. It is so sad, and I'd like to actually extend my thanks to the family of in Yubon, particularly if you her sister, who was one of the witnesses here. It was because of her bravery, her bravery and tenacity, that she was able to get the police to help the police in tracking a lot of the moves that the uh, the uh, accused person or the convicted person made. And it's so sad, but I just hope that this conviction will bring a measure of closure okay. to the family and that the life of a newborn will be a blessing to all of us. So uh, most of we have uh, the governor, state governors in Nigeria, not signing death warrants. So in this case, what would be advice on the of services? Well, you, the, we have, it's, a, it's a complicated situation. Now, I think one of the things that we might need to canvas is an amendment to the law to change the mode of convictions. In Nigerian law, the only way a, 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 a convicted murderer, murderer can be can be um, can be executed is by hanging. If you listen to the judge when he pronounced the sentence, he said that you'll be taken away and hung by the neck until you die. So that's the only way that the new one can be executed. Unfortunately, we, uh, we there are not many hangmen in Nigeria anymore. And I think if we change the law to have other modes of execution, in the United States, you can be executed by hanging, you can be executed by lethal injection, you can be executed on the electric chair. So that's so that in those cases, you are able to um, apply modes of execution where you don't have hangmen. Now we have in, on death row quite a few uh, convicted uh, murderers awaiting the hangman, but so far, I think we need to review the law and see how we can uh, create other modes of execution. So finally, violent crime is so rampant in our society today. Uber crime ban is 21 years old. What could be responsible for the hate of violent crime among young people in Nigeria? I think I think it, it, it boils down to the uh, to this to, to, the, to the state of morality of our young people, and it would must go start from the parents. I don't think we should start from these young people, we start from the parents. You find out today that the parents don't bring up the kids the way it was done in my time, for instance. To have a child like a newborn in the house without knowing what he's capable of doing, I think it's an indictment on the parents. And if we need a new basis, we need to have the parents to be more attentive in the, in the upbringing of the children and create moral boundaries that you make sure your children don't go beyond. See how unrepentant this convict has, uh, has been all through the trial. All the evidence is analyzed to his hearing and everything. And the moment he was convicted, he was asked to say something. He says, I'm not guilty. Then he says, oh, the country is full of kidnappers. They are not arrested. So it's like he has set a moral standard for himself which supports the kind of activities that he is involved in. Unfortunately, Udo Abbasi is not the only one. Udo Abbasi is like a metaphor 
within the youth of this, of this country at the universities and all the cult groups. These are the things that bring society down to this level. And it's my prayer that somehow... We have the elder brother of... Uh, uh, let uh, in new uh, born we've been died last year. Uh, Sabek, introduce yourself, give us a bit. I'll be okay, more than the elder brother to an Uber more. Oh, he been killed last year. Okay, so today, uh, many people say justice uh, has been saved. Uh, Waiting you get to talk about this matter now, where finally Udwak Frank Akpan has been sentenced to death by hanging. How uh, this judge may make you feel today? Uh, what did I say? Uh, I mean, not to believe say uh, we still have uh, we still have justice for common people, maybe like us. Can God say we are happy today? All I hope in loss say they will just do makomaku for this day. After you don't kill my sister, if they don't see strike and leave, they don't get anybody. I say come up on that, come court today. My brother has been sentenced today. He said make him die on my angel. All of us today are happy because you know if you kill my sister like that, they go. Go, go there like that and we go cover them. Thank God, the justice are uh, done happen today. And everybody does see people as they up say they don't kill her. And my sister comes, I think they don't bear and feel it now. Think of fine, think don't see justice. And we are saying because they will say my sister don't fight uh, justice, but at the end of the day. Okay, so now where this uh, matter don't set now, what will be the next step? Because I know say uh, you, your sister, if you can the other people will be really the fight, say make justice take place. Now where justice don't take place. Uh, what will be the next step? What will be your advice or anything where you get to talk about this matter? Well, uh, it will be like where we come from. You know, say God is everything. If you we don't get fear of God, then they do that kind of thing when they, they do. As I my sister go find job, go die. They come very young. Now, like even uh, if you are attending Wakana, because I don't want this kind of thing make it happen again for us or for anybody. I don't even wish anybody for this country to make him pass through what we will pass through. If at least, if government, if he say, okay, as you don't have to die, don't give your family justice. But about that, let them find the sister. Where they, where they did for that family? Where no get your find, they give them job. At least it's possible. Our government will be there so they give us job. If you give that my sister, if your job. And that man where my sister die, he come pick and go give work. Like I love you. They work. Now we go there so now. The government come visit us, come give us work. Make it have some people in Our family people where they did, they don't finish school. And because of say, you know, the people will get help us for right time. They might make us. I made my sister come and say, let him go find that work before he go to NYC and he come back. I pray, say, may God come look, see if I made him find us work. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.